So sure, Jay, I'll explain actually the whole concept that you understand so well. Keratoconus patients, when you all come to me from any part of the world and no matter how many surgeries you'll have had, in my mind, among 20 different techniques I do, I break down into structural and visual. And it's so simple. If you are seeing with glasses, despite your keratoconus, you're visual. Right. Then I can use visual techniques that I do, laser plastic, laser-based techniques, uh, ICL, which is fake implant techniques, EVO ICL, toric ICLs. I can do lens-based techniques, cataract-based, pseudo-phakic uh, special lenses that I use, especially astigmatism-based. And I can even do additional uh, combined lens-based techniques on these patients. These are visual approaches, right? Yeah. Yep. If you'll come to me and you'll cannot see with your glasses, so remember how simple I'm making this, even though there's many other factors that I take to decide. Seeing with contact lenses is artificial vision, so that doesn't help me at all to make my plan. But seeing with glasses, if you're not seeing with glasses, you're my structural case. Now I have to build up your cornea and the foundation. I may do intact-based techniques, which is corneal rings to stabilize. I may do lamellar techniques on the cornea to build the cornea. Also, cross-linking can be utilized in certain sections. Again, these are structural techniques. Now, let me draw that out so it's simple for everybody to understand. So all my keratoconus patients I divide into visual and structural. And this is so simple. It's based on vision with glasses. If you can see with glasses, you're visual. <laughs> if you're visual, laser plastic, ICL. Again, there are many, many categories under this. I'm just keeping it simple. And lens-based cataract techniques. All these can be done in keratoconus patients. Structural, I have to do, for example, intact-based techniques. Again, intact based on my corneoplastic-based approach, differential asymmetric. And lamellar corneal techniques and cross-linking techniques. So imagine, these are structural to strengthen and build the cornea. This is visual to actually optically correct the vision. Structural cases usually will need a kind of a contact lens or something for you to see better. That's very important to understand. Structural is not visual. Therefore, we don't do visually accurate surgery. I do building surgery construction. Correct. 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 Now, it is wonderful that many of our patients from structural actually become visual, which is fantastic, makes me very happy. Because once they become visual, now they don't have to go into these contact lenses and all that expenses and lifetime of dependence. I can now do my visual techniques, laser plastic, ICL, lens-based yes. techniques, etc. But remember, not every structural patient will become visual because it depends on the severity of your issue, the complexity of your issue. So in fact, I have a third category I have kept in my mind for you all, and I call that the salvage category. Salvage. Salvage are many patients who've been coming to me which are so devastated, so damaged, that they cannot even be structurally saved. Even those cases I fight for. If I see any glimmer of hope of vision, I fight. Quite a few of our patients from even salvage have become visual, which makes me very happy. Happy just because I want you all to see without contact glasses, even though it's such a high goal. And none of you have any guarantees, right? Okay. 100%. No they guarantees. all sign off on the consent form that they can go blind, etc. But my personal desire is, can I free them of glasses and contacts? And that's why I keep encouraging my colleagues to believe that they can do these things and fight for them, right? So salvage cases are though where even I don't know what I'm going to get. And they are so devastated. Like we had patients even recently last week, 200 microns cornea, completely scarred, high drops, zero measurements on them, no machine can measure, 98 keratometry, over 29 diopter, 40 diopter astigmatism, salvage cases. Even those I start building towards structural, I may do a lamellar cornea and build and correct it. And then I hope and wait that they become visual, but none of them are guaranteed that they'll all become visual. Structural, you cannot tell because you're planning. So structural cases, I prepare them to go into contact lenses once I've improved structure. Now, some may, someone may ask, Jay, if I'm going to wear contacts anyway, why even do the surgery, structural? Because, very simple, if you have a fractured leg, just giving a crutch and letting you walk is not the solution. Yes, you can walk with it, but every time you take off the crutch, you cannot even stand. Right. Yeah. So the cornea underneath is going undergoing more damage, and from structural, you're going to become, unfortunately, a salvage case, which becomes even more difficult for me. So I'd rather when you're structural, we do something for you surgically, stabilize you, improve you, make the foundation better. And then if I cannot make you visual, you are into contact lenses. Got it? That's the plan here. But if you come to me visual, which is the early stages, anterior corneal scarring, even higher astigmatism I can fix, 
I am very happy to take you straight to vision. Again, please, none of this is guarantee. It's my intensity that I want this for you. So does that make sense, Jay? All yeah. this we had discussed before Great. surgery, but this helps you. Yep. Again, I love this impromptu Q&A. So structural, visual, salvage, and structural is not guaranteed visual, but if it does, great job. If not, interestral contact, visual, all these concepts. Now, the amazing thing with RJ, like all, many of our patients is, he has become visual. Yes. And just now you saw the measurements when I did, and I do my perception test, he gave me 10 on 10. Once he says 10 on 10, again, remember my work is not easy. Just because he's become visual, I'm smiling, but that doesn't mean my work is easy. I still have to fight and see, how do I make him see? He still has higher stigmatism, extremely high irregularity, but he's measurable through it. Now I'm doing what I, remember these two words are fine, very important. Now that he has become measurable from structural, I now want stability. Measurable and stable. So now I'm gonna let him lose, have him come back again. I'm not gonna jump and do surgery. I'm gonna wait to make sure that this is stable, what I have seen today. Right, Jim? That's right. Once he's stable, then I go into attack mode and I start doing surgery for visual. And again, remember, please, he has options. He may not want the visual surgery. He can go contacts, glasses, whatever. But there is a visual component, especially given his lifestyle. So this is really how I approach keratoconus. It's so simple. No matter how complex you are, in my mind, you break down the visual, structural, salvage. Structural can become visual in some cases, visual surgery. Structural, find contact lenses, residual contact lenses. But help all of these as if they're going to see. And that's the beauty of how to approach keratoconus. That's why I call this think outside the cone. Cone, nice. <laughs> Love it. Jay, been a pleasure. Thank you for the t-shirt yeah, again. Thank, thank you. you. Stay on your bike and enjoy. Right. And keep the these pleasure. beautiful eyes shining.